the explosive fallout from Plank played out in tense scenes in Friday's episode, which saw Chloe Burroughs confront Toby Aromalaren after he dumped her for Abigail Rawlings. The pair sat down to discuss the events from the past few hours but things turned sour as Chloe branded him out of order for the way he handled things, shouting at him, you have no respect at all. In further dramatic scenes, Toby also had words with Hugo Hammond after the teacher slammed him during his recoupling speech before proceeding to pick Chloe. After initially ignoring Toby's request to talk, Chloe later agrees when they bump into each other in the bedroom. And things didn't go too well as Chloe immediately launched into a scathing rant in which she slammed him for disrespecting her. She fumed, what you done was so out of order, no respect, you made me feel, holds up fingers, this big. She added, you have no respect, at all. Toby attempted to explain his actions, telling her that he had every intention of picking her during the recoupling, but his feelings had changed. Chloe fired back, I don't care what you think. You've got what you wanted. The semi-professional footballer told Chloe that she did not set out to hurt you, but getting emotional, Chloe replied, it hurts, it's not nice. I did like you, it's mad. The conversation then began to crumble as Toby attempted to explain himself, before Chloe had enough. She exclaimed, It's done, I don't want anything to do. You're just, you're awful. Before walking out, it comes after Toby confronted Hugo about his speech in which he was slammed for the way he treated Chloe over his flirtations with Abby. Toby told his former pal, that's not cool bro. I am shocked, that is ST from you. I've asked you your opinions and I am not angry about your opinions. Your opinion is completely valid. The fact is the way you went about it. Be a doll in pink like Chloe Burrows wearing Missy Empire 22 pounds Missy Empire pink low back and a Kamini dress get the look. By now Love Island gal Chloe Burrows looked like the perfect pin-up doll in a blush pink dress from Missy Empire. It's cut to a body con fit with a softly ruched halter neck, which is balanced by a low back for a flirty, playful mood. Chloe continued the girlish theme by wearing her hair down and finishing with vertiginous heels that offset the daring mini hemline and gave a leg lengthening effect. You can get the exact same dress by clicking on the link to your right. After alternative options? Use our carousel below to shop flattering styles from the likes of I saw it first, misguided, boohoo and pretty little thing. Mail Online may earn commission on sales from these product links. Now get one like it previous next 25 pounds I saw it first halter necktie mini dress by now 24 pounds misguided scoop neck pink mini dress by now 18 pounds boohoo slinky cowl neck ming lee mini dress, now reduced to 14 pounds. 40, by now 22 pounds pretty little thing knitted mini dress by now Toby went on to say that head asked Hugo for his opinions on the situation, but Hugo never expressed how he felt at the time. He said, that's why I'm so peed right now, that was so two-faced. He then said that Hugo is the type of man who just follows girls and doesn't care about guys. While Hugo responded, I still consider you family and I hope that we can get past this. He added that he didn't think that Toby would pick Abby and felt it was unfair of him to leave Chloe standing there like that. During the tense moment, viewers at home took to Twitter to share the fact that they picked up on Chloe laughing in the background as Toby and Hugo battled it out. The blonde beauty was seen turning towards them as things became more heated between the two, before proceeding to giggle while sat with her pal Millie.
Don't think I didn't clock Miss Chloe smirking in the background when Toby and Hugo were having their disagreement, commented one eagle-eyed viewer. A second fan shared, Chloe's loving this. See her laughing in the background when Toby and Hugo were talking. With another adding, not Chloe in the background absolutely loving the drama. Elsewhere, the rest of the villa were left divided over the feud, with Aaron Francis and Liam Reardon agreeing with Hugo's stance and noted how he had done the same thing to Kaz Kamwi. While Lucinda Strafford laid into Toby and told how he was annoying for the way he treated Chloe, with Millie Court agreeing as they comforted their pal. Faye Winter meanwhile slammed Hugo for his speech and branded him jealous as she attempted to calm down Toby in the aftermath. Viewers at home were also divided amid the dramatic scenes between Toby and Chloe and took to Twitter to air their views. Chloe and Toby did it to Kaz. Chloe is being such a hypocrite. Commented one viewer. While another shared, how does Toby not expect Chloe to have feelings for him? Especially as he sold her the dream and delivered her a nightmare. I cannot be the only one thinking Chloe and Toby had nothing in the first place, wrote a third watcher. Toby's angry BC he thought by choosing Abby that meant Chloe would go home and he wouldn't have to deal with it observed a fourth. Toby, you embarrassed Chloe. Hugo embarrassed you. It's the same thing wrote a sixth person. With another adding, Hugo is spinning me and needs to go home and so does Chloe I am over them both. Toby is lucky he is safe but he can also go home lol. It follows Thursday night's Love Island in which Hugo threw major shade at Toby during a scathing rant during the recoupling. In shock scenes, the teacher slammed Toby's treatment of Chloe and suggested that Toby's indecisiveness over his feeling for Abigail Bull's tea, leaving the other islanders stunned. And as Hugo recoupled with Chloe and Toby picked Abigail, new girl Georgia was consequently dumped from the villa after just two days. Hugo let rip at Toby over his treatment of Chloe, saying during his speech that Chloe doesn't deserve to be treated the way she has been this past 24 hours. He added, all this test stuff has been bull's tea, much to Chloe's delight. He said in his speech, I would like to couple up with this girl because not only is she out of this world beautiful, she is super intelligent, she's funny and whenever I'm with her, I'm definitely at my happiest. If I'm completely honest, she doesn't deserve to be treated how she has been this past 24 hours. And I firmly believe that a lot of this test stuff is complete bull tea. You deserve someone who is honest and communicates with you and who knows what could happen. Stranger things have happened. So the girl I would like to couple up with is, Chloe. Toby was left seething following Hugo's outburst as his pals tried to calm him down, telling them, what the FK is that? It's F King Muggy, would I do that to him? Meanwhile, the other islanders could not believe what happened as they stared open-mouthed amid Hugo's speech. While Faye and unimpressed Faye uttered, that's very rude. Viewers at home were also stunned by Hugo's actions, quickly taking to Twitter to share their thoughts on the dramatic scenes. One person wrote, just when you thought we had seen all that Hugo had to offer, he goes and does that. Boom. What a speech. I absolutely loved that. That's exactly why we watch this show for moments like that. Epic. While well, another tweeted, also, who gave Hugo his Weedabix? He had some energy at the final hour for no reason Hugo's speech on hashtag Love Island was pure epic. Omgai um, loved that gushed a third watcher.
A fourth said, Man like you go. Spoke the truth and said it how it is. Someone had to say it and boy did the speech ruffle some feathers. I just hope there's people around him tomorrow because it looks like it's going to kick off and that he doesn't deserve it. There is a way to go about it and Hugo did not go about it the right way. Can't convince me otherwise. That was Snakey wrote a fifth. With another viewer simply adding, take a bow Mr. Hammond. Amid the explosive scenes, the recoupling meant that new bombshell Georgia was given the boot after just two days in the Mallorcan abode. Ahead of her exit, the islanders were rocked the cast when they were delivered the news that they had to gather around the fire pit Faye Winter received a text revealing the boys will choose their partners with the remaining girl getting eliminated from the ITV2 dating show. The message read, Islanders, it's now time to recouple. The boys will each choose which girl they want to couple up with and the girl not chosen to be in a couple will be dumped from the island. Please gather round the fire pit immediately. Hashtag big call hashtag if I uno I no. And as the boys made their choices, it spelled bad news for Georgia she failed to pick after potential love interest Hugo opted to choose his pal Chloe. Be a doll in pink like Chloe Burrows wearing Missy Empire 22 pounds Missy Empire pink low back and a mini dress get the look. By now Love Island gal Chloe Burrows looked like the perfect pin-up doll in a blush pink dress from Missy Empire. It's cut to a body con fit with a softly ruched halter neck, which is balanced by a low back for a flirty, playful mood. Chloe continued the girlish theme by wearing her hair down and finishing with vertiginous heels that offset the daring mini hemline and gave a leg lengthening effect. You can get the exact same dress by clicking on the link to your right. After alternative options, use our carousel below to shop flattering styles from the likes of I saw it first, Miss Skydad, Boohoo and Pretty Little Thing. Mail Online may earn commission on sales from these product links. Now get one like it previous next 25 pounds I saw it first halter necktie mini dress by now 24 pounds Miss Skydad scoop neck pink mini dress by now 18 pounds Boohoo slinky cowl neck Ming Lee mini dress, now reduced to 14 pounds. 40, by now 22 pounds pretty little thing knitted mini dress by now meanwhile, Toby told how it was the hardest decision had ever made as before Chloe was picked by Hugo, he was left with a choice to pick between her and Abigail. He told how his head had been scrambled for 24 hours and had not felt like himself. And after the day saw their relationship crumble after several tense chat, Toby opted to give things a go with Abigail. Earlier in the show, Hugo broke the news to Georgia that he didn't feel a connection with her, with the marketing executive agreeing that there was no spark between them. He then had a heart-to-heart -heart with pal Chloe as they both berated their love lives. Elsewhere, during the show, Chloe and Toby were at loggerheads as she berated him for wanting to get to know new girl Abigail. Toby's head was left frazzled after Abigail made her intentions clear, telling the hunk, I would dump Chloe and get with me. At the moment I think it's something you're unsure about. After he got advice from other islanders, Toby and Chloe had a frank conversation where she blasted his behavior as disrespectful. She argued, it's up to you how you want to move. I don't really have a lot to say to you. It should have been shut down if you were that interested me and that's obviously not what happened. You're linking arms in front of me. The annoying flirting. That's disrespectful. Do you see any of the other boys doing that? 
It's laughable now Toby. The pair had several chats throughout the day where they struggled to come to a conclusion about the future of their romance. While Toby remained confused as to what he wanted, Chloe grew tired of his indecisiveness as she urged him to make a decision otherwise she'd break things off. Eventually, the blonde beauty accepted that things were over between them, while Toby later told Abigail that he wanted to take a step back from Chloe and get to know her. Love Island continues Sunday at 9pm on ITV2 and ITV Hub. Love Island 2021, meet the contestants which Love Island couples are still together? Where are the Love Island winners now, and what are they worth?